So I have been migrating my subversion repositories over to Git to get more up to date. I've got half my stuff in subversion, half in Git. So to do that, I'm also creating a local um, Git server. I've already done this on my other Windows machines. I'm just replicating that for you now so you can see how easy it is to set up a um, Git server on your own Windows machines. So I'm going to use a tool called Bonobo. Bonobo Git server. This runs on Windows under IIS. So it's pretty easy to install. Basically, you come to their website, bonobogitserver.com, download the current version, which at the moment is 6.3.0. That will give me a zip file, which I then unarchive, which gives me this 6.3.0 folder with Bonobo Git Server. Now, the instructions on the website are pretty simple. I'm just going to show you an example because what actually happens is slightly different from the screenshots. So first of all, let's do the prerequisites because this is where um, I made mistakes when I was setting mine up. So if I get a control panel up, what I need are adding Windows features, turn Windows features on or off. So I need the stuff in IIS, which is the information Internet Information Services. So I need some of the web management tools. I need the IIS Management Console so that I can manage this. And in there, I will need some of the application development features. So this says I need uh, .NET 4.6. I'll put on .NET 4.7 or ASP.NET 4.7, and that's probably good enough. Now, if I get any issues when I'm starting up, I'll come back and I'll put more of these on, but I think that's all I need, so I'll do OK. Then it will download those. OK. Now, I do not have Git installed on this Windows machine. I don't need to do that for this particular server. So what I do need to do now is go back to the install process. And you can see here it's telling me exactly what I have to do. So I'm going to take this, get explorer, get a file explorer up. Let's get another one. So that was Windows E to get that up. Paste that in. So now in here, this is the WW root. All I do is copy in this folder that is part of the 630, which is the version that we downloaded. And this is the entire server. So let's copy that across. Now, we need to um, give uh, permissions for the IIS server to use that. So if I go in here, and really only needs permissions for the app data, because that's, that's where it's going to store its data. So I do properties, security, edit. Now it's the IIS user that we need to give modify permissions to. That should be good enough. Okay. Now, I need to convert the um, server folder into an application in IIS. So now that we've installed the desktop app, we can run it. So opening this up, there's these sites, Bonobo Git server. So I'm going to convert to application. I'll leave everything as default. Now, hopefully, if we've done that, it should work once we double check the anonymous authentication. So go back in the server, look at the authentication, double click. Anonymous is enabled, everything else is disabled, so we should be good for that. Then it's telling us that should now be running. Well, let's try it. Localhost Bonobo Git Server. Okay, so that's working. I don't have any CSS there. I'm not sure what I've done wrong. So in common HTTP features, we've got default documents. We don't have static content, CSS static content. Hopefully that will fix it. In fact, let's put all of this on just to allow it, that should be good enough. Okay, there we go. So I think that was just cached with 404. So now it's looking the way I want. Admin, admin, that's the default user. You can change that. 
So what I normally do in here, or what I have been doing, if I, let's go into admin first. Oops, settings, sorry. Users, so settings, what I want is, I want to allow push to create repositories because I'm gonna create repos off and just push them in here rather than create them in here. Most of what I'm gonna be doing is converting other repositories into Git and pushing them in. So I'm gonna allow um, push to create, allow user repository creation. Okay, that should be good enough. I need to create a user. Let's create a new user. Password, I'll make that hard to remember. Create. So now I should have a server. Now that should mean that from another machine, I should be able to access that. So let's have a quick look. Right, so this is IP address 172. There we go. So this is on my Windows machine. This is on my Mac. This is the Windows machine here. So I can now connect to that, which means that if I come into a, a repo here, in fact, this is a folder, um, get status, don't have a repo yet. So uh, let's do, in fact, let's make it a readme. Let's do it properly. Then git init. Right, so now what I should be able to do is, uh, let's see, git status, no commits, git add, minus everything, git commit. Oops. Git commit minus m my first commit there we go so now get status We've got a repo nothing to commit everything's in there what i'm going to do is i'm going to point that repository um at uh, bonobo so if i do get remote at origin and i'll just put in the url there get remote origin git server and I'm going to create a repo Oops. I'm going to create a repository in there so I'll call that um, test test dot git git server then git push um, uh, minus u origin master origin no origin isn't but origin is Username, that was Alan. Password, that was nice and secure. So now we've pushed something in. Let's go back and have a look at our repository here. Repositories, and there we go, there's test. So I've created a repository. So now I've got a Git server running on my Windows machine. It's running under IIS. It's free, it's nice and easy to set up. You just use normal Windows features in order to do that. And then you can do your local commits. You've got a local backup of your Git repository and you can change the origin, push it everywhere. There's some things I like to manage in a local repository rather than everything on the cloud. So this just gives me that flexibility. Um, the instructions for setting up on the website are pretty good. It's just that they're not quite um, what I had to do to get it set up. So hopefully that will help you out.